What's up, YouTube? This is Takadero, but back again with episode 21 of Threads of Fate. Last time we left off, uh, this Book of Cosmos Antatius guy just decided to go all whack on me and say that I'm the, what did, what did, what did he say, uh, servant of Valen and that I'm going to destroy the world. So, uh, time to fight a book. Ow! Oh my. This is intense. Oh. Ow. So, what do, what do I got to do here? Not that, I guess. I gotta... Oh. I guess I just gotta take those hits. No, no, no. Oh. Oh, you know what? I can block. I forgot about blocking. Ouch. Yeah, yeah. Ow. Oh, this is gonna be extremely heavy on blocking now, isn't it? Boom, boom. Okay, it only hits a one. Stop it. Okay. This is, isn't too bad. Why can't I hit him? Hit him! Oh my! Oh, there was health. Ow! Block, block, block! Block, block! I'm gonna die. Okay, I can't hit him. Ah! Oh my god. Oh my god, Jesus! He just whooped me to death. Alright, let's try that again, I guess. Aeon's relic must not be awake! Ah! And then, you know. You know how it goes with these uh, old men that were transformed in into books. Okay, I know what's going on this time. Die. Luck. I didn't even get to hit him. Whoa, 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 that's new. Okay, just keep an eye out for what's coming. Ow, I blocked, though. Hit him, hit him. Oh my god, hit him. Hit him. Ah! Stop with your, like, magnificent beard of amazingness. Oh boy, oh boy, that wasn't fair. Man, this boss fight just feels cheap. Like that, where I block, and it's just like... Okay, at least that one blocked. Ah! Okay, if it hits me from behind, there's nothing I can do. No. Oh! I can... Uh, run backwards. That's what I'm supposed to be doing. Backwards. Backwards. And I can pick up the health. Oh my god! He's so fast! No, stop it. Ow. Ow. Whoa, whoa. And more health for me. Okay. I got this. <laughs> as long as I'm hitting, like, 30s and stuff. Like, I am hitting hard on this guy. Huh. Nope. Okay. <coughs> this ain't too bad. I've almost got him. Come on, die, old man. Yeah! Ouch. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah! Oh, I killed him. Oh, jeez. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Oh, boy. What's going on? Your power is useless. This is my world. I cannot perish. Ah! Ignorant wretch, you amuse me. How dare you challenge my sovereign power? Sovereign power? <laughs> what a joke. Oh my god. No! Die! Now your powers will be mine. Whoa! Did he just... Oh, great. Just another overrated Aeon. How ridiculously weak. Have you gone mad? You fool, what have you done? Don't even bother, your highness. 
I have absorbed Antatius' powers. Your magic is useless against me now. That explains why you destroyed the book. Yes, it was the only way I could take his powers. With Rue's help, of course. But why? What is the reason behind all this? Tell me at once! As you wish. The time has come to reveal who we are. You and I, Rue, we were brought to this world for one reason alone. Our fate was determined long ago. What is going on? Who the heck is that? There once was a great Aeon. His powers rivaled those of the gods. This Aeon made an incredible relic. That relic embodies all the forces in the universe. It is the purest form of crystal. Life, space, time, even logic and willpower are under the dominion of this relic. With the ability to control time and all of nature's creations, it is the ultimate power in this universe. That relic is called the Dew Prism. Dew Prism defines the heavens, the earth, time, and life. In essence, it is the, micro the microsm of our universe. To inherit Dew Prism is to inherit the universe. Valen created Dew Prism. He hoped to become a god, but the incalculable power of the relic brought about his downfall. The other Aeons were startled by Valen's creation and saw their peer as a major threat. Eventually, they became mad from fear and envy and attacked him. The Aeons showed no mercy and destroyed Valen. This is some epic stuff going on here. We're actually getting some answers for once. Huh. Was Valen killed? His body was destroyed, but not his spirit. Valen sealed himself in another dimension, and he has taken the Dew Prism with him. Valen bides his time in an impregnable dimension. All the while, his enemies age and die. Despite all their powers, Aeons are not immortal. With every passing moment, his enemies dwindle. And now they're all dead. I have just destroyed Valen's last enemy, Entatius. Wait! Does that mean Valen is going to be resurrected? Not yet. Put your axe in his face, come on! Like I said, Valen has sealed himself inside an impregnable dimension. It can't be destroyed from the outside or inside, and Valen himself can't remove the seal to escape. At this point, Valen and his duperism will be confined in the dimension forever. Valen must not be resurrected! Antatius? That fool is imprisoned inside his own creation. Only the dolls of Valen can break the seal. What? Dolls of Valen? Alas, if only the dolls of Valen did not exist, he could not return. Oh my god. Curse you both! Curse you both! What a pitiful sight. You should have died long ago with your peers, Antatius. How does it feel to die knowing that your enemy is going to be resurrected? You're nothing compared to Valen. Ha 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 ha! Jesus, that was brutal. Antatius is dead. Nothing can stop Valen's resurrection now. 
The time has finally come for the dolls of Valen to fulfill their duty. What? What are you talking about? I'm sure you know by now. Oh, this is when he woke up. Before sealing himself in his dimension, Valen created many dolls with special powers and hid them all over the world. They were created for the sole purpose of one day breaking the seal and resurrecting him. Rue, you are but one of Valen's creations. The stone on your forehead. It is a life stone, a fragment of the Dew Prism. It holds powers beyond this world. It is what destroyed the Book of Cosmos. Look, Valen remains locked in his dimension. You have the power to free him. You and your life stone. It is your duty. My duty? Yes, our duty. We exist for Valen. It is our duty to bring him back to this world. The time has come to resurrect our sovereign. With the Dew Prism, Valen will be invincible. He will become a god and reign over the universe. No. You're lying. I don't care what you say. I'm not Valen's doll. Of course. You have completely lost your memory, as I have lost my powers. What are you talking about? Perhaps this will convince you. Huh? That stone. How? We're the same, Rue. We are all Valen, dolls of Valen, and that makes you my brother. You awakened five years ago. I awakened one hundred years ago. Unlike you, I retained everything. I remembered my duty as Valen's creation. Unfortunately, I am Valen's failed creation. Look at my stone. My life stone is dead. It has no power. I cannot fulfill our duty alone. That's why you came... Oh, I'm sorry. That's why you came after me? Yes. Three years ago that night. Why? Why did you kill Claire? You only wanted me. You killed her for no reason. That was an accident. I had no intention of killing her. I never imagined she would be so frail. You bastard! Calm down. After we fulfill our duty, I'll bring that woman back to life. Once Valen is resurrected, we can use the power of the Dew Prism to revive her. That will solve everything. Once she comes back to life, you and I will no longer be enemies. It doesn't matter. I will never forgive you. You think everything's gonna be fine if you just bring her back? You're just toying with her life. Like I told you, you're my brother. I have no intention of fighting you, Rue. I have waited for you for so long. Now let us fulfill our duty together. I'm not your brother. I don't need your help. I'm going to bring Claire back on my own. That's my only duty. So, you have no intention of joining me? Never! You're not my brother. You're just a monster. So be it. I will fulfill our duty on my own. What are you talking about? You said you don't have the power. I have absorbed Antatius's powers. With his powers, I'll be able to revive Prima Doll. That doll can remove the seal at the lake ruins and open the path to Valen's fortress where he rests. Hey! Farewell. Oh my god. This episode has been like all story and it's freaking amazing.
Get back here, and I will axe your face into oblivion. Oh, they dead. Oh no, he's okay. Huh? What happened to Dollmaster? The mask. He's gone. He must be heading to the Lake Ruins. The only thing on that traitor's mind is Valen's relic, Dew Prism. If Dollmaster resurrects Valen, it'll be the end of the world. Can't you stop him with the Book of Cosmos? I'm afraid not. With Antatius gone, the book has lost its power. I'm completely helpless now. Ah! What's going on? Well, I got a little bit of vibration in my controller. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Oh boy, here we go. What is that? What the heck is that thing? Oh my god. Oh boy, it stopped being rainbow at least. That's okay. I still I'm still not clear on what that was, thanks. It has finally arrived. The long wait. The long awaited return of Valen and the Dew Prism. Valen's fortress. I must go there at once. It will be an honor to accompany you. Your 100 year wait is finally over. Mm. I trust you will take care of everything. Don't worry about it. We'll cover things down here. My lord. I wish I could have accompanied you to the end. You two have served me well. I thank you both. No, we owe you everything, my lord. Our lives would have ended in meaningless battles without you. You have even granted us names. You have freed us of, from our dismal fate. Whoa, that name! Kiriel, I'm counting on you. I pray we will meet again, my lord. Narcius, take care of yourself. Hey, I ain't gonna die. Of course. This guy, you all need to die. Carwin, let's go. Yes, my lord. Please fulfill your duty, Ru- Whoa, Rusian! What? Ugh. Farewell. Oh, things are getting bad. This is not good. Oh, am I back in town? What the heck? Why? My goodness. That fortress, it's brimming with evil. I have to go. What? I have to go there. Do Prism. It's the only way to save Claire. You still insist on getting the Do Prism? The power that can destroy the world? I know, but I have to. When Dollmaster used me to destroy your book, I was a helpless puppet. I can't believe we're both dolls of Valen, and he's far more powerful than I am. But I can't give up. I have to defeat him no matter what. He killed Claire. I'll never be at peace until he's dead. I don't know anymore. I don't know what to do or what to believe. I might end up destroying the world. Rue. I'm still sure of one thing. When Claire was killed, I promised I would bring her back. I know I'm just a doll. My feelings probably aren't real. But that promise I made was real. I know it was. I have to go to Valen's fortress somehow. 
There's got to be a way. All I need is a pair of wings. Oh my, a pair of wings. How's that going to work? I wonder if Rod just has some other kind of thing going on back there. Oh, but all right, I got to save. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, share this with any friends if you think they'd like something like this. And uh, stay tuned next week where we head on our way up to Valen's Relic and get some revenge for Claire. So remember to have a fantastic day and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.